everybody, welcome back to Sonic 2. We're now in the fifth zone of the game. Hilltop zone. And honestly, folks, this one's pretty cool. I, I like this. And it brings back those seesaw things, which you might recognize from Starlight Zone in Sonic 1. But honestly, yeah, I think this zone's pretty cool. And I like the... I mean, it looks kind of similar to Emerald Hill, at least with the... Uh, you'll notice with the floors and stuff, but just blue instead of brown. But yeah, this zone's pretty cool. I always like the music for it, and really the music for Sonic 2 overall is pretty good. And if I'm not mistaken, they actually got some kind of Japanese pop band to record the music for this one, so that's why it's so good. The only thing I don't like about Hilltop really is the rising lava. There's a couple of spots where the lava starts coming up at you, and you'll see it. And also, if you're going too fast and you like jump down and hit one of those purple dragon looking things right there, it, I, well, I don't know about, I don't know in the mobile version, I would hope that glitch was corrected, but on several versions of Sonic 2 that I've played, if I hit the, like the killed that badnik right there. Oh, that's what egg that's what Robotnik's robot those little robot enemies that you see, like that one. Those are referred to as badniks in the early games. Probably should have pointed that out sooner. Is this one that I get the emerald? Oh it is. Oh yeah, because I remember this was the because it took so long to <laughs> get the next emerald in between what was it chemical plant zone and here it took forever to get this one and whenever I was recording a couple of the special stages I was getting pretty pissed off because I didn't think I was actually gonna be able to get all seven emeralds <laughs> and there were a couple of special stages like this one right here that I was struggling with pretty bad <laughs> but if I left it in the playthrough, I got it. <laughs> yeah, this one does that weird loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> but yeah, my first memories with Hilltop Zone... I think I mentioned it in the last part how... One of my first times making it this far, it took at least an hour to... It took... I remember keeping track of it. And it took me at least an hour, but now that I know what I'm doing, it takes about an hour, hour and a half at the most to get through Sonic 2. If I was like a professional speedrunner, it would probably take even less, but I've never successfully done that speedrun, speedran. Who would you say that? <laughs> but I've never done that in a game. Also, I know I'm gonna probably age this recording by saying this, but I guess E3 is going on at the time of recording, and I would put out a reaction video or something about it if I actually had the chance to watch any of what was going on. I wish I could, because I used to actually keep up on that stuff, even if I've not owned a lot of newer game consoles and been able to play a lot of the new stuff that's gotten announced because I'm pretty far behind on gaming technology folks. <laughs> I always have been and I probably always will be and that's probably why you're seeing Sonic 2 on the channel because I'm an old school guy. I'm an old school gamer. I like old school stuff here and I will record as much old school sh for the channel as I possibly can. But yeah, one thing I noticed that was kind of weird about Hilltop Act 1 was how they had that checkpoint right there toward the tail end. But I was able to get that Chaos Emerald. And I do not remember if I tried to go back for that checkpoint or not. I guess I did. I think I just said it because 
there wasn't any way to get the last 15 rings I needed. But this is one of them sections I was mentioning earlier where the lava starts coming up at you. And like I said, that's probably my least favorite part about Hilltop Zone, but you really don't have to worry about it too much. But yeah, I mentioned in the last part how giving these giving these parts a little bit of continuity here. But I mentioned how in the last part, whenever I was getting ready to graduate, one of my friends brought in a Sega Genesis that day. And I really I think I made a lot of people mad in that class that day because like I said, where if one of us died we had to give up the controller and I managed to make it like halfway through the game before I ended up dying. <laughs> so everybody was just there waiting on me. But, but that always kind of stood out to me. Because <laughs> I used to be I used to be a lot better at Sonic 2 than, than this. And this part right here was actually a part I struggled with when I was recording the playthrough. I had to stop recording and come back to this a few times. I think I actually... Well, no, looking back on it, I think I only died maybe once or twice. But anyways, folks, that's the end of Hilltop Zone. Hope you enjoyed it, because now we are on to Mystic Cave Zone, and this one's pretty neat, I guess. I can't wait to show off the secret <laughs> in Act 2. But anyways, we're now in zone number six. And this one's a little tricky to get through. But it overall isn't too bad. Like I said, the music for this is pretty cool. But you'll hear me say that about probably every zone in the game. <laughs> Honestly, I'm such a music nerd that sometimes I like the music of the game more than the game. Sometimes the music is enough for me. <laughs> but not really having any problems getting through here so far. Yeah, you know, the first time those things ever popped out at me, I wasn't expecting. <laughs> a lot of those sections where you just swing on a vine there. And I lost all my rings. I lost all my ringage there. What am I supposed to do if I don't have my ringage? Oh yeah, that was something I used to do for the hell of it. When I was younger <laughs> playing this zone was I would just kill a couple of minutes in between those springs just bouncing back and forth <laughs> because I thought it was entertaining. But yeah, overall I like, I like Mystic Cave. I really... I really dislike the zone that originally comes after Mystic Cave. And I will... I will get into that more when we get there. Because for now I just want to relish in the good times. <laughs> and it looks like the good times will be had by all because we have now completed Act 1 of Mystic Cave Zone, folks. And honestly, I... I, I don't think I mentioned it in the last part, and I know I'm just wasting air by saying it, but uh, I want to thank you all for tuning into this playthrough, as it's, it's been a hell of a lot of fun getting into this, and I think I'm really starting to come out of my shell a little bit more, and record better commentary and what have you for y'all. But we're now in Mystic Cave Zone Act 2, and I hope... I really hope it's close by because there's something I want to show off about the mobile version of this game. Because it's actually... It's actually different from the original Sonic 2. I may have already mentioned it earlier, but I don't really... My short-term memory is garbage, so I don't remember. Oh, yep, 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 there it is! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's Hidden Palace Zone, motherfuckers! Look at this stuff, yeah! 
Hell yeah, I'm glad that we got here pretty, pretty early in the act. Because in the original Sonic 2, you just end up in a wall of spikes. You're stuck there. That doesn't drop you down to this. But the developers of the remake or port here of Sonic 2 decided to resurrect this wonderful, beautiful, amazing level. And I really wish this was in the original Sonic 2. Legend has it it was about 60-75% complete. But, and you can play it in Sonic 2 Beta. You can at least play through Act 1, the majority of it. And... Yeah, this is just... This is Hidden Palace Zone. This is a zone that did not make it into the final cut of Sonic 2, unfortunately. This and about four or five others. And... Yeah, this is... The music here is wonderful. Though, there's two different... There's two different speculated songs for this one. There's one that a lot of people talk about that was in the final version of Sonic 2 that was an unused track. I think it's track number 10 on the sound test. 10 or 11. And then there's another one which is just the two-player theme. Well, the theme to the two-player mode of Mystic Cave Zone. But anyways... Hidden Palace, oh, there's also remnants of it in the final build of Sonic 2, where if you have a Game Genie or Game Shark, one of those things, where if you, back in the day, you could type code in, and this will actually show up in one of the, I want to say in level select, but it's, it's been a minute. I want to say it shows up in the level select, but whenever you access Hidden Palace Zone in the final build of Sonic 2, it is a garbled it's a fucking mess you it's not even recognizable and I'm pretty sure you fall to your death but yeah the development of Sonic 2 and the hidden lost zones of the game have always have always intrigued me all the way back to 2009 <laughs> and it, it was wonderful and and it was in, it's incredible that the uh, people who were working on this version of Sonic 2 decided to bring this back from the dead and put it officially in the game. And it serves as a nice buffer between Mystic Cave and the zone that this was actually scrapped in place of. And that zone I absolutely hate, folks. I absolutely hate it. I and that's my least favorite zone in Sonic 2, but it looks like we won't talk about that until the next part. But anyways, this is all new, as there was no Robotnik battle in the then completed, well, what was finished of it in the early versions of Hidden Palace. And actually, this looks like a zone that, based on some even earlier screenshots I've seen back in the day, Looks like this zone was around for a long time, <laughs> as the early screenshots don't look anything like this. But yeah, this is a pretty cool boss battle, and I like that they added this to this version. And this is... Even though it's only one act, it technically only, only had one act in the beta version, because Act 2 is just recycled remnants from Act 1, but yeah, that's the end of what they added for this Hidden Palace Zone here, and I'm really glad I was able to show that off in the mobile version, and that is the end of Part 3, and I will see you all in Part 4.